in one of the earlier videos we went through creating um, track files on your desktop computer to then be copied across to your laptop so that you could actually follow them, follow them in your travels. And the example that we used was, was a track from Port Augusta over to Sejuna. Now obviously when you're driving over there you don't need to follow a track file. All you do is get on the air highway and basically keep driving. But the principle's the same. Now this one here that I'm going to show you, this is more where it does get used and it's this is from Jamison where we were last week. So this is the the track from Jamison up to Mount Terrible via a track called Paletti Track. And if I just roll the map down a little bit and scroll in, there's Paletti Track just here where I'm showing you where it comes off the Woods Point Jamison Road, goes up to the Mount Terrible Road, and then down the bottom of the screen it goes down to Mount Terrible. Now, when I was doing it at home and made this track on the computer, I'll load that in now and show you what it looked like. We go up to File, Load from File, Load Track from File, and you've got Jamison to Mount Terrible via Paletti. That's the one that I made. Now there's the track there. If I scroll in a bit, you can see that I didn't need to be too concerned about you know, covering every corner, it went from hard point here to hard point there, another one, and it's like the track we made before, it's a series of straight lines joined together, whereas the actual road goes around the river and curves and bends. Now, when you get down here to where it c turns off the uh, Woods Point Jemison Road up to the Paletti track, you can see it follows pretty faithfully the track on this map, but it just cuts corners goes all the way up to Mount Terrible here and then we came back down that's why I've got two lines here one was going up and one was going down because on the way back we went past this intersection and followed the Mount Terrible road further down and again it's cutting corners and that but it's enough to work with now that's all very well and I made it called it the uh, Jamison to Mount Terrible via Paletti track file but when we did that track a couple of days ago, I had the tablet recording our exact position. Now this track here has got 144 different points on it, so to, to take us all the way uh, from the start at Jamison down to where it comes back across the bridge to the Woods Point Road. The track that we actually recorded is on my tablet, and what I want to do is bring that in and replace this track with the actual track because it will then, or it should, if everything works, follow this dotted line on the map much closer. So let's take this track, or well, I might leave that on there for the minute. I've got my tablet hooked up to the computer, so down here I'm going to go to File Explorer, which is down the bottom, so that I can see all the files both on the tablet and the computer. If you don't have that little icon at the bottom, this is Windows obviously. Can't help you if you've got um, Apple, sorry. Um, I just press that. But you could also go over here to type in File Explorer in this search box and it'll it'll come up. Anyway, I'll get rid of that and I'll bring up File Explorer. There it is there. And you can see that my C drive, here's the Galaxy tab hooked into the computer via the USB port. I double click on that. I've got the card in the tablet where I store all my maps and the tablet itself, the workings where Aussie Explorer resides with its folders for its workings but also its folders where it stores its uh, track logs and uh, waypoints. So if I double click on tablet and there's all the folders under there the one I'm looking for is Aussie Explorer over here, double click on that and it stores them all in a folder called data on the tablet so I double click on data and again it's got waypoints, track logs, don't worry about routes I've almost never used them um, waypoints and track logs are the two things we want so track logs and you'll see in here the ones that I've named and we'll be able to find the Jamison, there it is there, the Jamison to Mount Terrible via Paletti track. It's a PLT file, so we know it's a track. And that is exactly the same one 
that I created and just showed you there on the map which was sitting in my tablet so before we'd actually gone up there this is the one we'd follow however if you look down here you've got all these other track logs daily plots and they're dated and they're in reverse order like the American system a bit more this one being the 23rd of July 2018 I've got no idea where I went but I could load that and find out what it was I don't have this running every day by the way when the tablet's on it's not on in the car every day and recording everything it's when we're out on the tracks and um, using it you know for the club trips but when I did the um, trip over to Western Australia it was on every day and recording everything they've not they're very small files so you'll never run out of room recording these uh, tracks now we did the um, Paletti track up to Mount Terrible on the 27th of February so down here you'll see this one 2702.19 that is the track that I'm looking for if I right click on that and bring up some options and what I want to do is copy it so I'll left click on copy and now it should be in memory I go back to my C drive computer and go over to Aussie Explorer it's similar it's residing on the main drive of the computer and Aussie Explorer also has data but this time uh, on the computer version it doesn't store them in, in folders called waypoints or track files but that doesn't matter it stores them all under this data folder and if you rename them or not you can see what they are so what I want to do is I'll scroll down to the bottom first and show you there's a few track logs there that I've brought across for whatever reason but I'm going to go to paste and there it is it's popped up at the bottom okay uh, sorry that's a waypoint file now what it has done is put it up there it does it in um, alphabetical order down here so as soon as it popped in it popped in the bottom and then went straight up to here so it's that one there 27th of the second 19 now I'm going to rename that so I right click on it hit rename and I'll call it actually this track was plotted from the moment I left Picnic Point whereas the other one that I showed you was from Jamison up to Mount Terrible and back this one was Picnic Point all the way to Jamison then up to Mount Terrible and all the way back to Picnic Point so I'm going to call it Picnic Point Mount Terrible and hit enter and then it's moved it back up here now okay so it's a track plot close this Windows Explorer and I'll just scroll out a bit to show you what happens now I'm going to bring the track in so we go to file load from file load track file and it should appear wherever I saved it but I saved it under the data folder didn't I not under my picnic point folder that's okay it's probably good that I show you this so I put it under, directly under the data folder not the one that I'd created I can move it and I will but I'll just scroll down here picnic point Mount Terrible there it is there double click on it now it's come up it's a bit harder to see because it's come up in a thinner line every time I do these programs somebody sends me an email you can see that down the bottom anyway so I'll just keep scrolling back 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 and there it is there so it started from there and all the way down and home so it's a, it's virtually a double layer um, and if I scroll in a bit closer and what I might do actually is just to show you I'll increase the size of it now I've got two tracks loaded in here the one I created and the actual one that we drove so I'll go up here to the track control and show and hide the track control box and there it is with my two tracks now this one here at the bottom if I double click on it I can actually change the color we've done this before I, but I'll change the width and make it double what it was and then close that now if I scroll in you should be able to see this is a, probably a good a good spot it's sitting there with the track that I made 
but it's actually much more curved it's following these little curves here that weren't in the other one it's much truer to the track you can see down on the corner here it actually follows that dotted line around which the dotted line is a dotted line on the map obviously I mean there's a spot here where the dotted line cuts that corner but actually the road goes around it like that um, so that's the actual track we drove now if I can if I delete the first one which is the one I made you can see it up there I made it on the 14th of February uh, a distance of 38 point uh, 33 kilometers this one is a distance of 124.79 keeping in mind that's all the way from picnic point to mount terrible and back this one i started at uh jamison up to mount terrible and back down to the bridge so it's a lot it doesn't take in that part from jamison and back up to picnic point um, so what i did know though was that the track that we were doing from jamison up there was about 38 kilometers so and the rest of it's obviously on the black on the bitumen this one here's got 2841 points at it and this one's got 144 which is the one i made so i'm going to delete that one clear the selected track by hitting this button up here and it's gone so now you can probably even get a better view of the track as it goes up to mount terrible it's nicely curved to following the road in fact it's so good there it's blotting the road right out up to the Mount Terrible Tower and back again and basically in exactly the same it hasn't even got sort of two lines because obviously on a small track like that you're following exactly the spot that you went coming up and we go all the way to home there's Williams Lookout up there we stopped up there for a little while this is um a topo map you can see all the contours of the of the hills there and it just follows it so that's that's the track that i would keep if i wanted to give somebody a plot and they said well you know we're staying up there mansfield picnic point wherever we want to go up to uh, mount terrible where did you go if they've got us explorer I'll just give them a copy of this file could email it to them it's so small it's nothing and all you have to do is put that onto the tablet which we've done before it's the reverse of taking it off and follow the line very very easy to do so that's all there is to it really I'll probably delete the other one that I made from my um, files in fact what I'll do is I'll take this off the map now so go map clear all tracks it says do you want to do that yes I'm not deleting them from the computer just from the track I'll go back down to my file explorer go to the C drive and Aussie Explorer again now I put it under the data point as you remember but I really want to put it in this folder with picnic point I called it there picnic point Mount Terrible I'm going to right click on it go cut go to the picnic point folder and right click again and go paste there it is there and the other one, Jamison to Mount Terrible via Paletti, I'll delete. Gone. Close that. And there we are. So that's how you can uh, record your travels and come back and put them on your computer and uh, keep them for whenever you may want to do the track again, as I said, or give it to somebody else. Uh, very, very handy. Um, if somebody else is leading as happened with us um, someone else leading a second tour um, who hadn't done it before or had done it before but just wanted a, a much clearer map of where everything is you can do the same thing I think I might have done this up at um, I'll show you this one picnic point where we stayed if I just scroll in a bit is here we did the track across the top on what they call Hyatt Ridge and I'll bring that track in so if I go load from file load track from file it's under the picnic point folder Hyatt point black there's two I did two uh, Hyatt point ones one was a blue one was a black it was just another way of coming down through one of the fire tracks or staying on the road which was a bit blacker than the than the other way out and that's the track and again that's the one that we recorded and you can see the map's pretty good it follows that track 
very very closely but more importantly as you're coming up here and there's intersections of tracks going left and right if you had this in your, in your Aussie Explorer tablet um, you just follow the line and it'll take you all the way a left there instead of the fire track down and this is where you turn right that little bit there was we, we actually went up there's a little sort of a U-turn area but we didn't take that track any further we realised we wanted to come down this side and you can see there too it really the road actually goes round the corner that's pretty steep there it came round the corner rather than go straight down and it all went all the way down to the end where we had lunch and then it goes back along Walsh's Road all the way back to Picnic Point